Hi, my name is Anna. I'm an art student and origami expert. Today I'm going to show you how to fold a paper flower. So for this project, you will need a square piece of paper. I usually recommend to have color on both sides. And scissors. We're first going to create the shape we're going to use to create the flower. So to do that, we're going to fold this paper in half. And we're going to bring this point till about here. Doesn't need to be precise. Just somewhere around there. Now fold it and bring this side up. And now what we want to do is get rid of this part to create a triangle. So we're just going to cut from this lane to this corner. And we're going to fold this here. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to bring this right here to the middle. And we're going to start creating the petals. So we do like this, same thing with this edge, we're going to bring it here. So now we have five points. We're going to fold a triangle here. And unfold. Open it. Now what we want to do is bring, is bring each of these edges to this one. We don't have to press. Just do it like this. There we go. We're going to grab each of these points. We're going to try to bring this shape up. Okay, now that we have done, just gonna close basically by itself with the folds that we have already made. Just like that. We're gonna recrease those folds both on the top and the bottom. Only around the center, you don't need to do it towards this side. Okay, and now we're going to shape our flower. So we're going to start by taking each of these points. You just insert your finger, fold it, grab the bottom, and push it downwards.
here we go. Let's sort of shape it. Here we go, and the last part is going to be to fold the tip, give it a little bit more of shape. So just pinch each of the edges. There we have it. Okay, so with these flowers, you can uh, make them in different kind of shapes. You can put them in a plate to create a centerpiece. You can stick them to a wall and use them as uh, decoration. You can very well put a stick on them and create a small bouquet with them as well. So many uses for these pretty flowers. And that's how you make a paper flower. I hope you liked it. See you next time.